Video number 10, high engagement through vertical videos. It used to be that posting vertical video online was seen as shameful and unprofessional, the sign of a true amateur. Today, it's how the majority of content on many social media channels is not only consumed, but also produced. This, of course, means it's in your best interest to make vertical video a part of your workflow in all steps of your creation process. Aspect Ratios Vertical video refers to anything taller than a 1 to 1 aspect ratio, 4 to 5, 2 to 3, and fully vertical 1 to 1, also known as 9 to 16, are all taller than they are wide, which works better for social media or for being viewed vertically on mobile devices and tablets. Cropping horizontal footage can result in very pixelated and low quality footage. Rule of Thirds the rule of thirds is a photography rule that says not to place the main subject directly in the center of the frame. Instead, you can create more dynamic and interesting compositions if you draw imaginary horizontal and vertical lines that divide your frame into thirds and place your subject either on the lines or where the lines meet up. Split the screen. Since your vertical frame is so tall, you can try using it to creatively stack multiple horizontal clips on top of each other. These clips can be related in content and look, or they can actually be positioned to appear like there's a seamless blend between them. Pace of side to side movement. Shaky camera movements are almost always unwanted and distracting to people to watching a video. Since vertical video has so little screen real estate on the sides, it's especially important that you try to avoid moving the camera from side to side too fast. Vary your angle and shot types. Filming vertically doesn't mean that everything needs to be shot at arm's length and eye level. Do your best to mix up your shot length and camera angles to make your videos more interesting and work within the frame to create something unique. Get close to your subject. One of the biggest positives to shooting with a vertical frame is you can get closer to vertical friendly subjects, creating a more intimate, immersive experience. It gives video some headroom. Fill the vertical space. There are creative ways to fill the vertical space when the subject isn't quite a personal up close shot. You can raise the camera up high and tilt it down, or you can get a bird's eye view from above your subject. The ability to frame your subject from below, creating a more imposing or powerful shot. Conclusion Figuring out how best to frame your subject, choosing subjects that work best vertically, and actually knowing which aspect ratios are considered vertical are just a few of the things to understand as you start your process. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.